hi guys yeah welcome back to my channel it's Eki if it's your first time seeing me you're welcome In today's video I'm going to be creating this sea blue or sky blue eyes right here plus I'm going to be reviewing the eyeshadow palette I'll be using in creating this look plus the lashes. First, welcome to 2021. Guys, I am so excited to be filming my first video for you in 2021. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. I am glad to see you in this year. So if you want to know my thoughts on what I think about the eyeshadow plus the lashes then keep on watching while we go right into this video. so guys i'll be reviewing this eyeshadow palette from Juvis, please this is their warrior 3 palette okay i know maybe you've seen this before or you've watched any review but i haven't told you my thought on this yet so i'll be reviewing this and also be reviewing this lash from ruby light cosmetic this is how their packaging looks like this lash tray is in slay collection okay so i'm gravitating towards the cc echo it is five in one palette so it has different names and style for each this it has the shakara it has the cc echo pepper them um, slay mama and yanga so i'm going to be slaying the cc echo in this palette because you know bites i haven't done anything with the dubious list eyeshadow before on my channel so i just thought i should tell you my thoughts on this so this is how the palette the colors looks like they are all vibrant colors so i'm going to be doing something out from here so first let me swatch so i'm swatching the matte shades in this oh my god this you see the pigmentation how pigmented this looks like let me swatch this shimmer shade See how that looks like very vibrant if you want to know my thoughts just keep on watching first guys I'll be turning my lid with the benign clown white eyeshadow base hope you can see that the Sun is reflecting and is a white container so it might be hard for you to see the name but this is ruby light the I say ruby light <laughs> this is benign clown white i'll be spreading that all over my lid to give my eyeshadow what to stick on and even appear more vibrant i'll be going into this pink it's called fancy as my transition shade so i'm just placing that right so i'm blending the shade into my crease and towards the inner corner of my eyes make sure you don't brush be stippling just stippling the products and blend 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 next i'll be going into this blue shade this is called gola i'll be placing that right on my lid and then taking it up to my brow bone sorry <laughs> taking it up to my crease so i'm blending the edges together with the pink shade i used earlier as my transition color so there will be no demarcation or harsh lines in between the two shades i'll be using the shimmer shade it's called congo the blue for as my lead color as well so i'm just pressing that on my lid and swipe so i will have that pigment as much as i want okay so this shimmer shade is also very pigmented if you see how vibrant this is looking already 
I love all the shades in here because the way it is in this palette that is the same way it's appearing on the eyes it's not giving me another shade I notice that whenever I use brushes to apply a shimmer shade on my lid any eyeshadow at all I feel they are allergic to brushes when I use my finger it applies without fallouts compared to when I use brushes I'll be lining my eyes with the Karat gel liner in black ink I hope that is focusing I always like to take a little of it to the back of my palm so I can have control over the product and then I line I have a detailed video for liner how to line your eyeliner properly I'll be leaving the link in my description box so you see I'll be picking my lash with the Mega Impact Mascara from Kiss Beauty this mascara is 8 times will make your lash longer like 8 times longer and it will give you volume not just lengthening but it also gives volume to your lash I so so love the way it's looking already are you seeing that are you seeing this one let me bring it a little close so you see how the difference between this and this the only problem I have with this mascara is that it doesn't dry up on time so what I do is to fan it just like so so it dries up quickly on the ruby light cosmetic I'm going to be using this lash tray using this one it's called the CC Echo so I'll be fixing this to let's see how it's gonna come out yeah so in case I've not mentioned this is a Nigerian brand put my eyes down and place the lash right on top of my natural lash and push it to the roots all right let me finish up with my skin and i'll be back i'll be smudging my under eye with the same shadow with the same shade of eyeshadow i use for my transition i'm just putting that right underneath my lower lash line Next guys, I'll be lining my eyes with the Colossal Kajal Eyeliner from Maybelline. Oh my god, this pencil is almost finished. So I'm lining my waterline. So guys, I'll be adding this highlighter right on my brow bone. Just to lift my eyes a little more so guys my thoughts for the eyeshadow and the lashes the lash it's sitting well on my skin I'm not feeling like I'm wearing anything the lash is fluffy is beautiful this is the kind of lash I'll, I'll love to rock anytime any day like anywhere it's not too dramatic it's just okay for me for the eyeshadow Juvia's place you got it you got it the pigmentation is on point the fallout i'll say it's because of the the brushes i feel anytime i use my finger to apply shimmer shade i i have zero to no fallout but anytime i use brush no matter the eyeshadow it's always have little fallout so if you ask me this came out beautiful i love the eyes i love my lashes everything is just check 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 like if you love this video and you want to see more of this video please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up leave a comment below and also don't forget to subscribe right here and ring the bell so you don't miss new videos once again happy new year I am so glad you are watching this video right now and I'm so so happy and excited to see you once again in 2021 like I said before this is my 
first video for this year and i hope to be giving you more and more beautiful content just like this so you can keep looking beautiful and gorgeous so thank you stay tuned stay blessed and stay beautiful till i come your way next time bye guys